Our other sales strategy is PPC ads. So pay per click. This is the advertising section of Amazon. Ads on Amazon work as follows, pay per click. Let's show it with an example. Now you have written Travel Pillow again, and look at the front two of them as sponsors. Others seem normal organic. These are actually pay per click, which means two vendors that advertise per click. If we click on this, the more the seller has paid per click, the less will be from this seller's advertising budget. These are normal situations, perhaps even when they are on the 5th, 10th page, or maybe even lower back however, you might think that they are renting the top page or the middle side in this way. By advertising, they appear in the first rankings. Of course, this has a cost. As the name implies, pay per click. For example, you pay $1 per click. For example, these two appear first. Why? Because they have the highest bit rate. For example, most likely one and a half dollars are given for these initial products. Let's look at the sponsored products in the middle. For example, for both of these, it is most likely given around 1.25 or 1.35 dollars. There will also be those that appear below. I came towards the end of the page, C. They advertise pay-per-click, but their bit rate is probably around 1.15 or 1.20 dollars. If they were giving a dollar and a half, they would be at the top. So there is a ranking here. The highest bit rate is given to the product with the highest cost per click and is shown first. You may also not only advertise on this page. You appear in the products of your competitors when you advertise in this way. For example, when you enter this product, look down when you go down and see the sponsored products related to this product. These are also advertisers in the form of PPC. When you click on these again, advertising budget from this seller will be decreasing. The bit rate given in the first row product is not the same as the backmost bit. The product with the highest bit rate appears first. In this way, your advertisement appears in many places in front of customers. As I said, the ad type used on Amazon is in the form of PPC. I will be telling this in detail when we get into it later. I will explain how you can create PPC, how much budget you need to spend, and how to make detailed analysis. There are two types of PPC ads. Automatic Campaign and Manual Campaign In Automatic Campaign, Amazon decides which keyword you will see with advertisements. You give an automatic campaign to your product. Amazon determines which keywords you will appear on the first page according to the keywords in your title according to your product. In Manual Campaigns, you determine these keywords yourself. You can determine this with the keywords you get from the automatic campaign or by using other keyword tools such as Helium. In fact, our main purpose in using PPC is to have all the keywords related to our product. So we don't have keyword volumes or keywords completely. There are programs like Helium 10 we use here, but the main information is on Amazon. PPC advertising is the method of learning from Amazon that which keyword is better, which keyword is completely related to our product, in which keyword our product is better. We receive information about Amazon by advertising PPC. This keyword learning business is very important information. You can't get it from Amazon normally, but we can get a lot of information using these PPC ads and learn all the keywords related to our product. In this way, we can organize manual campaigns with those keywords and change our product list better. We can bring our product to the first rankings with better keywords. Our overall use of PPC is to increase these sales and to come to the first pages with launch and also to test keywords related to our product. Another method of increasing the number of sales is to attract traffic from outside. I made a detailed explanation about traffic from outside, related to a 9 algorithm. Amazon loves traffic from outside. When you bring customers to the Amazon, it will rank you much faster. You can use channels like Facebook, Instagram, Chatbot Marketing, and YouTube. However, these are topics that are shaped according to your skills. So, the more you are interested in applications such as Facebook, Instagram, the more effective you can use. You can attract external traffic depending on how much knowledge you have on these issues. If you can actively use these platforms and have good knowledge, you can develop good sales strategies. So, what is the product launch? Let's explain the product launch as follows. Let's say your product has been shipped and reached Amazon for the first time, then Amazon has checked your product and the products have been activated. After all products are active, you are now starting the launch phase of the product. Launch means to present the product to the customer. 
So what do we do at launch stage? At the launch stage, we try to bring our products to the first pages as the main target. Our main goal is to ensure that our products are seen and purchased by customers. That's why the launch phase is very important to us. If you remember in the A9 algorithm lessons, I told you before, I said that the first 90 days of the A9 algorithm are very important to us. You know that the first 90 days from the moment the product reaches Amazon is very important. I have already mentioned that this is called honeymoon. We are working very well on product launch using these 90 days very well, and we try to come to the first rankings with the keywords we have determined. In this way, we begin to reach organic sales. Product launch means actually starting to sell the product. Before starting the product launch, of course, detailed studies about the product must be done. A great list should have been prepared first. For example, imagine that you are opening a store. Your products are scattered inside, or you still haven't organized the showcase. When people enter, they will come back without buying anything. Therefore, you must first optimize your listing. In online sales, our store is actually our page. Therefore, the photos, title, bullet points description section and reviews of our page should be ready so that when people come to our product, they should not come back and decrease in our conversion rate. I have explained how important the conversion rate is in the A9 algorithm. Our conversion rate should be very good, and our listing should be fully optimized before product launch, so that we can get good returns from PPC ads. You can look at our product listing section again in detail for this. Make sure that your product is completely ready for this, otherwise you will make loss. The ads you spend at product launch goes to waste because your customers who enter your list will not buy your product in this way, will be wasted. Even if you come to the first pages, you cannot stay there, because after you come to the first page, you have to continue with the same sales figures. While your competitors sell four or five products every day, with that keyword, if you sell two or three, you will slowly go back from where you came from. So it is very important that you optimize your listing. It is very important to optimize your listing in order not to fall back after the first page and to avoid wasting your advertising budgets. Another thing you will do before product launch is to set target keywords. We do it at the product listing stage. But we need to do something more detailed in product launch so that we can find good keywords with low competition and determine which keywords we will stand out with. If you try to launch keywords that are difficult to compete and if you set those keywords as targets, your goals will be wasted when you fail. Your advertisements will always be wasted and you will be in vain. If you choose the right keywords, especially if you find keywords that your competitors don't work too hard on, you can easily show yourself there and start selling organic regular sales. Therefore, detailed keyword analysis should be done and target keywords should be determined before the product launch.